Train crash victim has been found. I'm Ann Cates. The death toll in the Amtrak train derailment now stands at 8. Correspondent Steve Kastenbaum is in Philadelphia. The discovery was made by a search dog around 8 in the morning here. Philadelphia Fire Commissioner Derek Sawyer said the body was entangled in the wreckage of a passenger car. The dog hit on a couple of spots and we were able to find one other passenger in the wreckage. Mayor Michael Nutter said with that discovery, the search effort has now concluded. We believe that we have now accounted for all 243 individuals. Amtrak CEO Joe Boardman announced that they're committed to installing the safety system that could have prevented this derailment along the remaining sections of the Northeast Corridor by the end of this year. Steve Kastenbaum in Philadelphia. Meanwhile, the attorney for Amtrak engineer Brandon Bostian says his client has no memory of what happened. He suffered a concussion in the wreck. I'm Ann Cates. Advanced Auto Parts knows what makes a car guy a car guy. It's the courage to take on the greasiest of jobs, the guts to stare down the belly of the beast and replace a radiator. It's fearlessness, and it has no patience for dead batteries. That's why Advanced Auto Parts offers free battery testing. And if you buy a new Autocraft battery, we'll even install it for free so you can get back to your next big project. Advanced Auto Parts, for guys who love getting under the hood. Most vehicles, most locations. See store for details. Guys, when you buy your clothes at DXL, you look good. But you feel like a rock star. So if you want to look and feel like a... You'll find all the brands you love, waist size 38 and up, all in one awesome store. DXL, you're looking good. Right now, select dress shirts are just $49.50 each when you buy two or more. He doesn't mess around, and he doesn't take sides, and he looks good doing it. It's the all-new Jason Stapleton program at jasonstapleton.com every weekday at 5 p.m. right here on KCAA 1050 AM. Well, good afternoon. It is 12.02. I'm Di Rice with the only live local news here in the Inland Empire, KCAA 1050 AM. Starting May 22nd, ballots will be mailed to property owners in unincorporated parts of Riverside County, asking them to vote on an annual fee of $10 or less for pest control services. Recent budget cuts have left money, have... Uh, not much money to fight mosquitoes, rats, and other disease-carrying pests in the county's unincorporated communities. The fee would be a sustainable funding source for pest control in these areas. If voters reject the fee, the county's options for continuing this program will be severely limited. A public hearing on the uh, matter is set for July 7th at the County Administrative Center. And the mother of a preschool student in the Desert Sands Unified School District has been diagnosed with active tuberculosis. The Riverside County Department of Public Health is working with district officials to identify others who may have been exposed to the illness. The woman, who is not being identified due to confidentiality requirements, is receiving treatment and is expected to recover. The school is also not being identified because of confidentiality concerns. A letter is being sent to parents who have been identified as being at risk to TB exposure or whose children might have been in contact with the ill parent. As a precautionary measure, the health department recommends that anyone who receives the letter be screened with a TB test at a clinic being planned later this month. And Riverside County's improved financial rating will save the county $3 million on an upcoming capital improvement program. County's outlook, outlook had previously been listed as negative, Bonds totaling $325 million will be issued for a new jail at Indio, a parking structure, courtrooms at the Larson Justice Center and the Southwest Justice Center in French Valley, as well as a laundry expansion center at the Smith Correctional Facility in Banning. Debt levels are moderate to high due to largely county debts that have uh, overlapping repayment schedules but different funding sources. The bonds go up to, for sale May 19th. Inland Empire weather, cloudy, chance of showers throughout today and tomorrow with highs both days right into the low 60s, overnight lows 52. Currently we are at 62 here in San Bernardino. Looking at your drive, slow traffic on the 91 westbound between the 15 and Grand Boulevard. 
The eastbound side is busy between Lincoln Avenue and the 15. You've got slow traffic going through Ontario on the eastbound 10 between Archibald and uh, Millican Avenue in Fontana. Be careful, there is an object on the roadway of the eastbound 10 just after Sierra. And uh, we're talking about some tire debris. So uh, nothing major, but still uh, watch your step in that area. That is the latest with news, weather, and traffic on the station that leaves no listener behind. KCAA 1050 AM. Saving the world, one dirty joke at a time. That's the mission of Langdon Nation. Psychiatric professional Langdon Bassage and our round table of top comics bring you intriguing interviews, edgy conversation, and big laughs. Friday nights at midnight right here on KCAA, the station that leaves no listener behind. It's Mike Manahan, host of Biz Rap Radio, the show all about small business and entrepreneurs. Join me every Friday at 3 p.m. right here on KCAA Radio. Hey folks, I'm always inviting you to come hang out with us here at the studio lobby. I'm across from the lobby, I'm here in Martha's Place. That's where we give you hot drinks, sweet treats, and a lot of personal attention. And it's our bookstore as well. As you can see, some of Dave's number one New York Times bestselling books right here. You can buy them. Dave will sign them. You can get a picture with Dave. It really is a great experience. So we really welcome you to come hang out with us and just have fun because this is a fun place to be. The Dave Ramsey Show continues right now. Sacrifice, determination. You can be intentional about your character, your work ethic. You've got to be on the same page. Today we're calling to let you know we are debt-free, house and everything. You have done really, really, really good. And you're not going to quit now. It's been a huge witness for us to be able to share that. It was time to get serious. Intentionality, people. Yeah. Celebrate the success. Thank you so much. This is your show, America. If I knew at 22 what I know now, our life would be better off. It's the show that's changing the world. Now you don't just listen to the show, you live. Live from the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, it's the Dave Ramsey Show, where debt is dumb, cash is king, and the paid-off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. I'm Dave Ramsey, your host. This is your show, America. Thank you for joining us. Open phones if you want to talk about your life and your money. The phone number, 888-825-5225. 888-825-5225. Daniel is with us to start off this hour in Dallas, Texas. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Hi, Dave. A real honor to speak to you. You too. What's up? Well, we enjoyed attending Retire Inspired a few weeks ago, and Chris Hogan was amazing. We look forward to uh, you guys coming down here again. Well, thank you. He is absolutely amazing. I appreciate you saying so. How can I help today? <laughs> well, I was hoping you could help me think through a decision I have to make around my career. Um, I'm at a pivotal point where either choice will be a huge step up. You always talk about a big shovel paying off debt, and then this will be a big shovel. Um, but both come with their own risks. Um, and so we're on baby step number two. Uh, we're 180k in debt, uh, and have paid off half of that, 90k in the last two and a half years. And so we are, we're gazelle intent. We're selling everything in sight, um, and so we're excited about this opportunity. We're very blessed. Mm -hmm. um, I'm up for a promotion at my current employer, and also have an opportunity to work for a startup company. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a lot of risk that goes with that. Both will be paying the same. Mm -hmm. Um, the one, the startup opportunity, will require me to move the whole family uh, and everything else, of course, that comes with that. But the good news is if we do sell the house, uh, it will, will net about 70K. I'm sorry, 75K. Mm -hmm. um, so that will help with the debt snowball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where would you move to? Uh, it would be Austin, just a few hours down from here. Okay. And uh, really the main thing is I'm wondering, if, am I asking myself the right questions or the blind spots I'm not seeing right now? Okay. All right. Well, uh, the good news is that you are marketable. Whatever it is you're doing, uh, people are, are clamoring for your help. Uh, and really, your only security is in that. Uh, security is an illusion when you work for a company. Uh, they, you know, they can decide instantaneously that they don't exist anymore. 
and therefore you're on the street. And then so what is your real security? Your ability to leave the cave, kill something, and drag it home. And so we know you've got good security for that reason. So we don't have to worry about the startup folding. You'll be all right if, if it folded. If you went down there and worked four months and it, and it folded up on you, you'll be fine. You can land another one, obviously. So what do you make currently? I make uh, 65000 base today. Okay, and what will your income be today? Uh, you said base. What do you got, commission over that or bonus or what? Yes, I, I do. I have a $15,000 bonus on top of that. Okay, so you're making about seventy five today a year. Yes. And the, yes. the promotion at your current company will give will give you what kind of an income? About 115 to 120 Nice jump. Okay. Thank you. What do you do? I'm in, uh, I'm, in the, I'm in sales and marketing. Ah, okay. Good for you. All right. So you've Thank obviously you. been doing a good job selling and marketing, and it's given you the opportunity to move up in that. Now, the startup company is offering you uh, what kind of income? About 120 as well? No, they're coming in. He's sell, he sold a previous company, and so he's going to be self-funding me. Um, and he's offering me 100000 um, and helping me with the moving costs as well. Okay. All right. So I'm missing something. Why would you do that? It's always been a dream of mine to be part of a startup. And I and I grew up in a startup mentality. My mom, growing up, took on three jobs. She wasn't afraid to work. And so I, I worked for her. Right? Yeah, but what's, no the, what's the benefit to you other than you just are part of a startup? I mean, is, is, there, is there a financial upside to this I'm missing? Is he going to give you stock? Is he going to... Yeah. Yes, sorry oh, about that. Yes, okay. and, and I don't know the details of that. Yeah, we're still working that out. But yes, you will be giving me equity in the company. Okay. All right, but it's brand new. Literally, you're the first hire. Correct. Brand new. I'd be part of. Uh, I'd be a co-founder, and we'd be uh, kind of starting from the ground up. We're going to be launching in August, and uh, it's it, huge opportunity in that way, where I get to recruit the the team and really start this thing from the ground up. Okay. Now the upside is there's a, he, he's going to be able to at least pay, you know, help me survive right the first few months, which is great. Um, instead of me starting it on my own and not having anything. What's his capital position? How long can he burn this? Uh, I think about two years. Okay. All right. Um, and you're comfortable with the business plan, obviously, or you wouldn't even be talking about it. You're comfortable yeah. with the product line and how it's going to meet the market. Do you know anything about it? Or is it is it in your field? Uh, it is in my field, so it's okay. around connect. Yeah, it is in my field, yeah. Okay, so you do know something about what you're, I mean, this isn't just a guess, in other words. No. no he he right. was successful last time in building something and selling it. What's in game? Build it and sell it or take it public or what? I uh, Build it and sell it. Okay. Uh, well, I'd want to know on time frames, and I'd want to know what my piece of the action is. Uh, and so, you know, if you got a $5 million upside on this thing, we can talk about it. If you got a $20,000 bonus upside on this thing, stay where you are. Okay. Right? So I, I don't okay. know. I don't know what this, uh, you know, uh, the upside looks like. Just being part of a startup is a lot of work for nothing if nothing happens. Uh, your, your dream will be a dadgum nightmare, right? Or if you're getting yeah. such a small piece of the action that you've got no say, no control, and, and this thing just blows up or melts down at some point, you get nothing out of it but some experience, I you know, I don't have any desire to get experience that way. Uh, you bring up a good point. I guess I'm struggling with you know not being able to take that risk. Am I too scared to take the risk? Or is it no, just I, I think the risk has to, be, has to be identified versus the return is what I'm saying. Okay. And so the part of the puzzle that's, that you and I don't have yet is – uh, I need to hear about what you need to hear about what the upside is. In terms so of is it, okay, is it a financial. I, yeah, I'm gonna. You're gonna give number. me what percentage of stock and what's that gonna be worth? And as the thing grows in revenue, I got to see immediate kicks in my pay to get me back up to at least where I was. Hmm. And so, you know, can I make 200 next year if we hit this number or that number? And when you sell it, am I gonna make five million? Hmm. You know, or whatever. I'm making that number up. Right. But now right. i got a reason to be in a dadgum startup. But this thing's shoestringing right here, man. I mean, this is true bootstrap, what you're describing to me.
<laughs> and, and so it, it is a high, it is a high risk. Now the good news is you can sell and you can land on your feet if the whole thing blows up and melts down. But I don't want to move to Austin on a wing and a prayer. I want to have have some wisdom about it. And if I'm going to take this risk with him, what you're taking, let me tell you, you're taking 150 to 200 thousand dollar risk in lost upside and in moving your family and in displacing and redirecting your career. That's what you're putting in there. It's not in cash. But that's what you're walking away from. You follow me? Yeah. And so you you know, what are you gonna get for your two hundred grand that I just made up out of my head? Okay? I'm gonna get a bunch of dadgum stock, so there's an upside on the sale. I'm gonna get an increase in income but that's guaranteed based on revenue projections and agreed to uh, milestones to where I get my income up to two hundred pretty quick. If you're gonna go down there and bust it and do the startup, get your income to two hundred within twelve months if you hit your milestones. Right? Yeah. In that case, I get excited about it. But if he's going to dumb this thing down and take all the upside out of it, stay the flip where you are. You got a, you ain't got a bad deal where you are. That's how I'm looking at the deal. As, with the information you've got, you got to gather more info to make the decision. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. It gets real. It's live. It's really live. Local and in motion. Every day on KCAA. The Inland Empire's only live local motion talk. KCAA 1050 AM and KCAARadio.com. requested by over 60,000 customers. Home buyers will want to get buying your first home or what every home buyer must know. Those interested in refinancing should get our refinancing handbook. Call Churchill Mortgage today or visit us online to discover why we're the only mortgage company Dave Ramsey has ever endorsed. This is KCAA. If you can't seem to stay ahead of your bills, then this message is for you. How would you like to have a large portion of your credit card debt, medical bills, and department store debt forgiven? National Credit Card Relief would like to give you free information on a proven debt forgiveness program. This program has been used by thousands to legally forgive millions in unsecured debt. It's not bankruptcy. It's not consolidation. This special program actually wipes clean the portion of your debt that is forgiven from what you owe your creditors. Call for free information and get all your questions answered in the first free call. The more you owe, the more you can save. If you have at least $10,000 or more in credit card bills, this debt forgiveness program can be very effective. Call for free information and find out more now. 800-546-2909. There is no cost or obligation for the information. Don't wait. Call 800-546-2909. That's 800-546-2909. Get your debt problem solved. Call 800-546-2909 today. Come visit the all-new Tiger Trail at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Get an early start and have a bountiful buffet breakfast at Tiger Trail San Bhutan Longhouse while watching these majestic creatures. A tiger keeper will be on hand to share stories about these fascinating felines and will invite one of the tigers to join the session. Then explore the Tiger Trail's 5.2 acres, watch the tigers climb rocks, swim in ponds, and nap in tall grasses. See these beautiful animals up close, all at the new Tiger Trail at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Go to San Diego Zoo Safari Hey everybody, this is Polka Tom inviting you to join me for Inland Empire Polkas every Saturday from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. right here on KCAA Radio, 1050 a.m. on your dial and online at www.kcaaradio.com. I'll play all the best in polka music for you, so join me every Saturday, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Here's a look at the KCAA community calendar. I'm Di Rice. The American Cancer Society invites you to join in the Riverside Bark for Life Saturday, May 23rd at Grove Community Church. 
Bark for Life is a non-competitive walk event for dogs and their owners to raise funds and awareness in the fight against cancer. The event honors the caregiving qualities of canine companions and remembers those dogs and owners who have lost their lives to cancer. A- this is KCAA. Thank you for joining us, America. We're glad you are here. Open phones at 888-825-5225. Mariette is with us in Ontario. Hi, Mariette. How are you? Hey, hey. How are you, Dave? Better than I deserve. What's up? <laughs> Me too. Um, really uh, fun to talk to you. Um, and I want to thank you for helping uh, North America, uh, challenging North America to grow up and uh, be responsible with our money. Thank you. How can I help today? Um... What it is, is the more I listen to you, the more I learn, and I'm getting that it would be a smart thing for me to sell my rental and get out of debt. Okay. And um, I just want to do it smart. Um, I did um, about a year, I have a contract with a tenant that will expire July 15th, um, 2016, and I did, they were, I, I think they were just, just mentioning uh, last year that they, I don't know if they were joking around or what, but I, they, one of the guys said that he would consider um, buying from me. And so I, about three weeks ago, I phoned up um, the tenant and I asked her, um, would, you know, would she be interested? Because I was, and she, she, she was warm and she um, said she talked to her people about it. What it is, it's a group home that is run by a government agency mm-hmm. for, for adult, uh, disabled adults. And mm-hmm. so it's a really good gig, you know, and I, I don't have any tr- troubles there. Mm-hmm. But I don't make a lot of money, and it, it, it's a big money hole. And um, anyway, I, how should I? I don't want to pester these people, um, but I don't really want to wait another year um, to sell. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I should, um, I, was just, I was thinking of texting them and asking them, what, but then I thought I'm just going to call Dave and ask them. You know, a, a good thing to the, a good thing to keep you from pestering someone when you're following up is to set a time to follow up. Okay. And so, for instance, um, you know, you could just touch base back with her again and say, you know, I forgot to ask you that you when you were going to check with your folks about how long you think you'll before you'll know. Mm-hmm. And she says, okay, I, I should know something in two weeks. Cool. Well, if I don't hear something from you in about two weeks, I'll probably give you a call about then. Is that okay? Okay. And then see, so you've got an appointment to call back then. <laughs> And that's not a, that's not pestering. Okay. But you you know, but if if you call every two weeks and she says it's going to be six months, now you're pestering. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you need to you need to identify how long it's going to take her to get, you know, to begin to get to gauge the interest and uh, and say you know because if if you guys are not interested, I'm going to be interested in putting it on the market, and I've got to I've got to make my plans on that. So I just need to gauge your interest. Nothing's on fire, but. Let me know where you stand and, and, you know, and, and let me know what the time frames are so that we can agree to reconnect at that point. And then if she doesn't call you, you should call her because you told her you would. Okay. But you have a set time for that. And, you know, just to stay. So I'd call, I'd just call her back and go, hey, I forgot to ask you, you know, okay. about when do you think you're going to hear? Not wanting to bother you, but I want to know, you know, to keep from bothering you, I kind of want to know what your time frame is when okay. you're going to know something. And then you can, you're set an appointment for follow-up in a sense. And anytime you're selling or doing any kind of a transaction like that, that's the easiest way to, you know, so that everybody's kind of on the same timeline and you're not just jumping up and down going crazy over here in the corner. Dustin is with us in Las Vegas. Hi, Dustin. How are you? Good. How are you, Dave? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, first of all, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I wish I would have found you about a year and a half ago and I probably would have saved myself a lot of trouble, but I am here today at least, so. Cool. Uh, my question is, um, we were caught up in the Las Vegas real estate about 10 years ago. Yep. And we got in our current house, and um, we're looking to refinance now, but we had to short sell a separate house in Las Vegas. Um, we're just three years out of the short sale, so we're up for an FHA loan. We can do that right now. Or we could... Uh, we could do the conventional loan in a year. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out which would be a better option for me. Well, what is your interest rate currently? Well, interest rate right now is 5.375. Okay. 
And, and what's your loan balance? It is one fifty four. And what's your household income? Uh, I clear about after taxes around eighty to eighty five. Okay. All right. Uh, My biggest concern is the PMI. If I go and say, "Chair, I know that's going to be yeah," you're just stuck forever. I'm I'm probably waiting a year on the conventional if you think it's going to take a whole year. But I'm also going to call Churchill Mortgage and try to figure out if I can get it any sooner than that on a conventional, and uh, to, to be able to beat back the whole PMI discussion. Uh, I have talked to them. Um, everyone I'm talking to says it's four years for a conventional loan uh -huh. after a, a foreclosure or a short time. That's That sounds about right. Uh, I mean, that, that's the information that I've seen. So uh, I don't disagree with what you're hearing there. But I'm just going to always, you know, clarify exactly when the short sale was, exactly when we're going to qualify. And mm -hmm. let's just kind of go ahead and get that thing in the pipeline and then drop the hammer on the very day that you can drop it, right? Yeah, so you feel it would be worth uh, cause my biggest concern is the rates going up from where they're at today. Yeah, I, I of course, that's nobody that's knows. Concerned. I don't have any way of knowing. They've been yeah. down here for a pretty long time. Uh, yeah. And even if they went up 1%, which would be a huge jump in one year, that's a huge jump to go from three to four in one year. It's still a good deal for you to refinance. Okay. And it's still not a bad thing, especially with your current rate being as high as it is. Hard to believe we're talking about an interest rate and the fives being high. I know. But we are. Hey, I'm coming to Las Vegas next week. Have you got your tickets? I have not, actually. Would you like to come as my guest? I would love to. That would be great. I will give you a couple of tickets. Hold on. We'll have Kelly pick up, and we'll get you signed up. For those of you that didn't know, in Las Vegas, we will be there, uh, Chris Hogan and I, on May the 6th. We're going to be doing, that's Wednesday, all day long, our Entree Leadership One Day event for business leaders, business owners, small business people. The, it's from the number one New York Times bestselling book, Entree Leadership. And uh, we'll be doing that again on May the 6th next week on Wednesday. Then on Thursday evening, we're going to be doing the Smart Money event, Chris Hogan and I. That's May the 7th. And uh, that event, this is the uh, Live More, Worry Less event, where we walk you through the baby steps and, you know, not only get you out of debt, but put you in a position to build wealth like never before. Uh, because we want you to get, we want you to become wealthy. So you can change your family tree. You can change your destiny. And guess what? You can be an you can be outrageously generous when you're wealthy. It's hard to be outrageously generous when you're broke. It really is. So we want to show you how to do that. There's stuff all over the world. There's stuff around your neighborhood you could be doing and helping people, but not when you're broke. So we're going to help you. That's what we're doing. It's called the Smart Money Event. It's May the 7th in Las Vegas. And the Entree Leadership One Day is May the 6th. So uh, last of those events here in the spring until we kick back off in the fall. And they're next week in Las Vegas. So get your tickets at DaveRamsey.com. Now, listen to me careful. Several times over the past several weeks, we have taken calls from people. And in talking to them, I discover that they're millionaires or multimillionaires. They have a million, two million, three million dollars. Last hour, I took a call from Bob. In Indianapolis, had a million eight hundred thousand, sixty-eight years old, and, and these are the millionaires next door. If you are one of those, I want to do a whole hour just talking to people who have saved their whole lives to become rich. Now, if you inherited it, I'll talk to you, but that's not really what I'm after. Uh, I'll take some of those too because it's real. If it happened, I don't mind. But how did you become a millionaire? You got a million dollars or more in your net worth, in your nest egg, how did you do that? Email us at daveonair at daveramsey.com. I'd love to fill up an hour of these millionaire next door stories to show America that it can be done. We've got people that don't believe America can win anymore, that believe they can't win in America, that there's structural problems with the economy. And I want to talk to some of you people and show... Show America what it looks like. Dave on air at DaveRamsey.com. Email us. Dave on air at DaveRamsey.com. We're going to put all of you in one hour. We're going to do a millionaire hour. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Well, maybe chaos.
definitely. Tune in weekday mornings, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. for Controlled Chaos with Gary Garver, Jigga, Dave, and Mary Tonga. KCAA, 1050 a.m. You have to hear it to believe it. Overlooked priorities in a family's financial plan is life insurance. Having it and having the right amount are crucial. If you died, how would your family pay the bills, put food on the table, and plan for the future? Term life insurance is protection for the ones you love. It's not complicated and it's not expensive. People need to deal with this, which is why I found a company I trust and I do business with, Xander. Please take the time take care of your family. This is KCAA. California Headline News. Jurors emotional after finding Cameron Brown guilty in the death of his four-year-old daughter in 2000. Two previous juries deadlocked. This group of jurors determined that Brown threw his daughter off a cliff in Rancho Palos Verdes to avoid paying child support. I'm sorry to Sarah for all the pain she has been going through. I'm sorry for your death of your baby, but justice has finally been served. Juror Sheila James, gas prices still rising in California with L.A. prices the highest in the nation. Today's average price is three ninety four a gallon. That is nine cents a gallon higher than yesterday. And there is a local issue, apparently, that is driving up prices very rapidly. Marie Montgomery with AAA saying refinery issues in the state are sending prices up to over a dollar more than the national average, still nearly 50 cents lower than this time a year ago. Geico weather, big winter storm system moving in, a warning in effect for the Sierras where they could get six inches of snow before tomorrow. Jeff Scott, California News. When the economy crashed in 2008, the Fed lowered interest rates. They've been low ever since. But now the economy's improving, and most experts believe the Fed will start raising interest rates very soon. That means you should refinance your mortgage now to pull cash out of your home at today's low rates, because once the Fed starts raising rates, they probably won't stop. So beat the Fed to the punch and refi your mortgage before it's too late by making the cash call at 877-890-CASH. Today, Cash Call Mortgage is offering a 15-year fix at 2.875% rate and APR with no closing costs. You have the chance to pull tens of thousands out of your home, lock in a low rate, and pay absolutely nothing out of pocket. But you have to act now. Cash Call Mortgage is designed to save. Call 877-890-CASH today. Impact Mortgage Corp. DBA Cash Call Mortgage. Equal housing lender. Call 866-900-8744 for terms and restrictions. Rates may change without notice. California Department of Business Oversight Residential Mortgage Lender Law License 4131083. NMLS 128231. That's 877-890-CASH. Hey, everybody. It's Dr. Ruth. Just want you to know, you can now see pictures, listen to audios, and see videos of KCAA 1050 AM on Instagram. Are you particular about the vitamins and supplements you take? Have you found that the big chain stores simply don't have what you need? Then you should know about the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. You'll find rock bottom prices on gourmet top quality vitamins and mineral supplements at the Vitamin Center. Get 30% off on all supplements and homeopathic products. All, not just selected merchandise. In addition, you'll find 30% off on all cosmetics, soaps, shampoos, toothpaste, makeup, hair coloring, and lip gloss. And all tea products are discounted 20%. Why go anywhere else? See for yourself at the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills, 5007 Canaan Road in Agora Hills. Or check out the savings and place your order online, vitamincenteragorahills.com. Start saving by getting what you need from the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. And tell a friend that the Vitamin Center ships nationwide. Call 818-707-0005. That's 818-707-0005. The Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. Are credit card bills piling up faster than you can pay? How would you like to have a large portion of your credit card debt, medical bills, and department store debt forgiven? National Credit Card Relief would like to give you free information on a proven debt forgiveness program. This program has been used by thousands to legally forgive millions in unsecured debt. It's not bankruptcy. It's not consolidation. This special program actually wipes clean the portion of your debt that is forgiven from what you owe your creditors. Call for free information and get all your questions answered 
in the first free call. The more you owe, the more you can save. If you have at least $10,000 or more in credit card bills, this debt forgiveness program can be very effective. Call for free information and find out more now. 800-546-2909. There is no cost or obligation for the information. Don't wait. Call 800-546-2909. That's 800-546-2909. Get your debt problem solved. Call 800-546-2909 today. Hi, this is Jeff Barton. You're listening to The Mortgage Voice. Tune in right here Saturday at 3 p.m. and Sunday at 12 noon. Financing questions are 100% welcome on KCAA, the station that leaves no listener behind. KCAA is proud to announce another new service for all North American listeners. Now you can listen to our station on your telephone by calling us at 832-999-1050. Our service is available on any standard telephone, cell phone, or smartphone. Simply call 832-999-1050. That's 832-999-1050. Standard cell phone rates may apply. April being Financial Literacy Month, which is a big deal. Thousands of dedicated teachers across the country teach financial literacy to students using our high school curriculum. It's called Foundations in Personal Finance. And I've mentioned that about 27% of the high schools in America now use our Foundations curriculum. That's about a fourth. And nearly 2 million students, we're getting ready to have our 2 million students graduate from this uh, life-changing curriculum. That's pretty cool. Ever since I've been doing this, people have been saying, you need to teach this in the schools. Well, we are. So to celebrate the hard work of teachers everywhere, and you teachers are amazing. You're absolutely amazing. I mean, the stuff you put up with, and then you still go in there, and you still get it done, and you still love on these kids, and you still make them behave, and you still teach them stuff. So we're doing a teacher appreciation giveaway in honor of Financial Literacy Month. We're going to give away several $500 gift cards to use in the classrooms. We're going to give away several full sets of our industry-leading curriculum I was just talking about, Foundations in Personal Finance. And get this, this is huge. Two lucky teachers are going to win the grand prize. There's two grand prizes. A well-deserved, tropical, all-inclusive vacation for two. Two vacations for two. Two teachers are going to win vacations for two. Now, this is seriously awesome. Now, here's the deal. Financial Literacy Month is April. And uh, so we're taking, you teachers can go to DaveRamsey.com slash teacher and sign up. No purchase necessary. Register to win in this giveaway until April 30th. Uh Uh-oh, that's tomorrow. So you've only got until April 30th to get registered. But we want to just say thank you to teachers. You educators are something special out there. How many of you out there had a teacher that changed your life? Everybody can remember a teacher that changed your life. We all remember a few turkeys, too, but there's a teacher or two in the mix that changed your life. They really are. And so that's the ones we're honoring. That's how we want to do this. And in honor of that as well, we want to get one of these rock star teachers that is uh, teaching our curriculum out there and, and just Talk to them and learn about what's going on. Roxanne Weber is with us from Palm Beach County, Florida. Hey, Roxanne, how are you? I'm fine. How are you, Dave? I am better than I deserve. Thanks for joining us and talking about teaching kids about money. So you've been doing this. How long have you been teaching our curriculum? Well, this is actually the first time I've um, used the foundation curriculum. I was um, lucky enough to have our um, financial literacy planner, Aaron Standish, uh, who happens to also be a friend of mine and colleague, I've taught with him before, um, introduced me to it at a workshop cool. um, early at the beginning of the year. And uh, through Fifth Third Bank, they gave us a little grant, and I was able to get the curriculum in my room, and I've been using it all year. 
And um, How many kids he, have been through it? Well, 125 of my kids, and before he was um, assigned as a planner, he had taught it for three years in his class and had um, impacted about 700 students. Wow. And, and he says about 80 to 90 percent of our high schools have at least one teacher using the curriculum. That's neat, in Palm Beach County. Right, in Palm Beach County. That is cool. So the Fifth Third Sponsorship enabled you to, uh, en enabled us to give it to you is what it amounts to, so that you could use it in the and didn't cost the school district anything. Yes, sir. And that that sure does yes, help. Sir. That sure does help get it taught. And, oh, it, it helps a lot. There is no extra money, so it was it was terrific, and it's been absolutely amazing for my students. I I cannot tell you how, what an impact it has been on them, and they're just so excited about it. It's um it's changed the way they think about money. Uh, we were had been planning, you know, college. I teach high school seniors, and we're getting ready for graduation, and we started talking about you know saving and talking about how to fund college, I and mean, many of them had been looking at getting loans, and now they have a great plan. Uh, many of them had talked to their parents uh, after we'd done your curriculum and have new plans for um, uh, paying cash for college. Yeah. It, it, it's awesome. It's great. I'm so excited for that. The antidote for student loan debt. Teach them when they're in high school about that debt is a bad idea. I love it. That's yeah. fun. Well, I remember taking classes in school and even in college that were required and you always ask that I, I was that kid when am i ever going to use this in the real world you remember asking that question right oh yeah and, and you know i i think that's got to be the most fun part of this curriculum because it is the real world isn't it yes and they see it in everything they do i come back they have stories and you know, they come back every day, oh, well, you know, you saved me so much money because now I'm shopping this way and I'm using the bargain uh, shopping idea. They think about Goodwill a little bit more. And um, and they um, have had these amazing conversations with their parents. And I teach in a Title I school, which we have a lot of low-income kids, mm -hmm. and they're going home and they're teaching their parents. And wow. they're changing their family's lives now. Wow. It's amazing. So the moms and dads are coming back and telling you this, or how have you heard that? I've heard it from parents as well as their as, as the students themselves. That's fun. That's very fun. That that you you. It's got to be a little bit rewarding to be teaching something where you know you're changing the whole trajectory of somebody's life. Teaching in general does that, but uh, but when you're teaching something like that where they're going home and already changing how they're going to college, they're changing the discussions that they're having at the kitchen table with the parents. That's got to be fun. Oh, it, it's exciting. I get so excited because I know we're making such a positive difference in their lives, and they're going to remember this forever. How long have you been teaching, Roxanne? Uh, this is my 28th year. Wow. And, and what is the normal or normal subject matter that you teach, math or what? No, I actually I teach economics and government. Okay. Excellent. And so we teach this through the economics class. Yeah, that's a perfect place to put it. Yeah, that, that's excellent. Wow. Well, we appreciate you being one of those rock star teachers out there, not only for us, but for the kids and, and for what you've done for 28 years. We honor you, and, and we appreciate all the effort that you put out there in the classroom. Sometimes it goes, uh, it feels a little bit unrewarded, I'm sure, but just know from all of us out here, we appreciate you. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Roxanne. We appreciate right. you calling in. Roxanne Weber, a teacher in Palm Beach County, Florida, at Santa Lucia's or Santa Lucia's High School, community high school. And uh, some of the kids thinking about taking out student loans. Now they're going to go to community college, take some classes, and not take out student loans, and find a way to get through school debt free. Changes the whole direction, particularly Title One. Man, that's a big deal. You know, you want to talk about answers to poverty. There's a lot of part, a lot of parts to the equation in poverty, but one part is education. Because right now they just made different choices when they were buying clothes and went to Goodwill, did different things that way, made different choices today, made different choices for their tomorrow as well by how they're going off to college. That's just huge, you guys. That's fun. It may be one of the quietest things we do in this building. We're not as loudmouthed about our high school curriculum. But when you start talking about 2 million high school students have been through this nationwide, and, and that means that there's tens of thousands of Roxanne Webbers out there teaching this stuff, we just want to stop a second here in Financial Literacy Month and salute you. I read this article the other day by this hateful 
person who said financial literacy doesn't matter. Financial literacy is a joke. It's just a marketing ploy. And I thought, you know what? You're an idiot. You just absolutely don't know what you're talking about. You just, you know, there's just always somebody's always writing something negative about you can't win in America. You can't make it. Let me just tell you what. You can grow up in a Title I school and you can learn about money and you can begin at age 17 on how you can go to school debt free and you can get through college and you can get out there in the marketplace and you can become a millionaire. Absolutely 100% can do that. I don't care if you're black, you're white, you're purple, you're green, you're Hispanic. I don't care what you are. I don't care if you're a man, you're a woman. I, I, if you want a bunch of, uh, if you want a bunch of reasons why you can't succeed, I'll tell you what I call them excuses. I want to hear your dad gum excuses. Hey, I'm so dumb. I had to become a millionaire twice. I had to start over. If I can do it twice, shut up. Hey, this stuff works, guys. Congratulations, Roxanne. Thank you for teaching the class. Thanks to our financial literacy team. You teachers, be sure you register today and tomorrow is the last day for giving away these vacations. Don't miss this. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. It's one of your favorite shows? Don't worry. We've got your radio DVR right here on KCAARadio.com. Log on and listen to any show you want, anytime you want. On KCAA, 1050 AM. Let me tell you why I endorse Liberty Safes. No other safe out there can protect your valuables, important documents, and guns like a Liberty Safe can. I keep my personal gun collection in my Liberty Safe, and I love knowing that no one can get to these guns but me. These safes are amazing. While you're searching Liberty Site, you'll find all kinds of sizes, colors, but most important, they protect what you value most. From high fire ratings to tough safes that even dynamite can't open. That's the great thing about Liberty Safes. They're beautiful, yet secure, which means it doesn't matter where you are on your journey to financial peace, there's a Liberty Safe that's priced right just for you. So get yourself a Liberty Safe today. This is KCAA. What have I learned so far? I've learned that there is no one path right for everyone. I've learned that without my high school diploma, I can only do so much. My options were limited. I found a free personalized learning program with Learn for Life that has a flexible schedule so I could keep my job while earning my high school diploma. I found new career training opportunities that would jumpstart my future. What have I learned so far? I've learned that I can change my life. Are you 14 to 19 years old and looking for a free high school diploma program with flexible meeting times? This program allows you to keep your job or important family responsibilities while earning your high school diploma. If you've fallen behind on credits or dropped out of school completely, get back on track with free tutoring, a caring faculty, and one-on-one -on -one attention. For more information on how to reach your graduation goal, visit learnforlife.org. That's L-E-A-R-N, the number four, L-I-F-E dot O-R-G. Or in Enroll today by calling 877-360-LEARN. That's 877-360-LEARN. Like to spend a few days in another world? Then write this down. Golden Bear Cottages, Big Bear Lake. Now, listen, this is not some corporate-owned operation. It's family-owned and operated by some real nice people. Unique? Oh, you bet. Golden Bear Cottages features 28 one-of-a-kind cabins on a five-acre historic site. Great for families, couples, and groups. And cabins are available with one to seven bedrooms. Golden Bear Cottages is just a stone throw from Big Bear Lake and super close to three great ski areas. Now, I could go on all day about Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear, but to see everything, just go to goldenbear.net. Again, goldenbear.net. Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear. Clean, comfortable, and affordable. Check them out. Goldenbear.net. 
If you're like most, your trust in traditional financial advice has taken a big hit in the last few years. So when it comes to your money, investment, and retirement planning, where do you turn now? Who do you listen to? Join us for Smart Money Talk Radio Mondays from 3 to 4 p.m. for the refreshing, straightforward money and investment strategies of Jim and Lorraine Conaway. With over 44 years of combined experience, the Conaways are here to educate you on how to be smart with your money. Securities offered through J.P. Turner and Company, LLC. Member SIP. Empire talks back. The attitude that, well, the little guy cannot win uh, seems to prevail despite the fact that over time we've seen that the little guy, if he is persistent, he becomes the big guy. Empire talks back. No, it's because maybe people figure out a little knowledge is like smoke. It leads to the fire. Empire talks back. I think this, this drive for equality, this drive for justice uh, is gathering steam as opposed to fading out. I think more and more people realize the importance of uh, the freedoms that America represents. Empire Talks Back with Wallace Allen and Friends, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. on AM 1050 KCAA. But now it seems like things are finally coming around. Is this true? Um, they can, but they don't have to. Uh, I, I would recommend you abandon them at her death uh, and not inherit the dadgum uh, maintenance fees. But you can pass on the curse to the next generation if you'd like, but I'd rather not do that. <laughs> Was I unclear? Timeshare suck. Okay, let's just be real clear about it. Yeah, there, there is no case in which I would recommend you buy a timeshare. Zero. None, never, nada. All you're doing is prepaying your hotel room for the next 10 years. That's all you're doing. And you just got your arm twisted and you thought, I'm going to get a free dinner. Oh, my God. And then you get sucked into the vortex of stupidity and buy a timeshare. And your mother did it twice. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and then we want to make sure the next generation gets messed over, too. No, thank you. Penny's on Facebook. My 20-year level term life insurance policy will be up in a year or so. I received a letter about converting it over to whole life. What should I do? Well, you certainly don't do that. Uh, you decide if you need life insurance. Where are you after 20 years? Here's the typical thing. Let's pretend we had a 30-year-old with a 2-year-old and a 4-year-old, and they got a 20-year policy. 20 years later, you have a 22 and a 24-year-old. That means they should be gone. Okay? 22 would be graduated from college. That's that's the idea, right? And so the kids are grown and gone. Uh, let's see. Dave Ramsey teaches never take out more than a 15-year mortgage. So the mortgage would be gone in 20 years, wouldn't it? And I tell people to save 15% of their household income in baby step four until the mortgage is paid off, don't I? And so if you did that for 20 years, depending on your income, I mean, you might have a half a million, you might have a million, might have a million and a half in your 401k. So if you had seven, eight $800,000 in your 401k, the kids are grown and gone and you got no home mortgage, do you need life insurance? She dies, I think she can, I mean, you, you die, I think she can struggle through, Bubba. Vice versa, she dies. I think you can make it. You got eight hundred grand, a paid for house, no kids at home. I think you can make it. That's called becoming self insured by saving money and getting out of debt. Now, if it's twenty years and we're talking about Penny and Penny's situation, you know, if you've still got a home mortgage, you hadn't got the kids out of the house yet, but they're old and they should be leaving soon, you know, you may need to buy another ten year policy or something. I don't know where you are exactly, but uh, no, I would not convert it to whole life ever. There is not an instance I would buy a brand new whole life insurance policy. They are one of the worst products on the planet. Was I unclear? I hope I wasn't unclear. Never buy whole life life insurance. Ever. Now, if you've got whole life and you're stuck with it because you're sick and you're not insurable and you can't get something, then stick with it. So, Penny, what I would do is, if you have an insurance need, figure out how long you're going to have a need, meaning how long before you have enough money and no debt for the people you leave behind to be taken care of. But I don't know your situation, so I don't know where you stand on that. So, I, you know, if you have an insurance need because you haven't gotten rid of the kids, you haven't saved, and you haven't gotten out of debt, then you buy some insurance to cover your whoever is need, whoever depends on you, 
in the event of your loss of your income due to your death. And just go to Xander Insurance, Z-A-N-D-E-R, ZanderInsurance.com, and they'll take care of you. You, you listen. Let me tell you. If you don't know how these quote things work, you hear all these. I hear them everywhere. They're on everything now. Life insurance quote 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 everywhere. It's on. It's ads are everywhere on this stuff. Ninety eight percent of those people that do that stuff are lead aggregators, and what that means is is they're really not in the insurance business. All they're doing is marketing to get you to contact them and give them your contact information. So they gather you. You become a lead for them. And then they're going to turn around and pass your email address or your contact points off to 10 different insurance companies, and they're going to worry the crap out of you until you buy insurance from somebody and run, them off, run the rest of them off. They're lead aggregators. Xander Insurance is not a lead aggregator. That's why I endorse them. They're an actual insurance company. They're a broker, which means they represent a gazillion different companies, but they don't sell your name. When you fill out the, the you know the little thing in order to get your quick quote, and you can get a quote in about 13 seconds at Xander Insurance and tell what it costs, okay? So you ought to go over there and look because term insurance is not much. But when you do that, there, your name doesn't populate all these other people's databases instantly. And nobody's going to bother you unless you want some help. And then when you want help, that's not called being bothered. That's called being served. And so, I, you know, we're not going to endorse lead aggregators. It's not what we do. So, uh, you know, you go to Xander, you're going to be dealing with one, Xander. That's it. That's how it works. Joseph is in Phoenix. Hi, Joseph. How are you? Good, Dave. How are you doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Yeah, good to talk to you. <laughs> Certainly. How I can I help? Thanks. I have a quick question. Um, my wife and I bought a, bought a house four years ago. Um, we did sign up for a 30-year uh, fixed-rate mortgage. Um, I was kind of curious. Like, I hear, you know, different ideas and people saying, do this, do that. So I just decided I'd call you. It's, I would like to pay it off in 15 years or less. What, what would you recommend? I'd pay it off in 15 years or less. Yeah, but, like, okay, so, like, I have a, I bought the house for 85000 with a 5% interest rate. Um, my mortgage payments are 555 a month. And so I guess, like, what would I have? How much more would I have to put extra in order to do that? You think? Okay, so your current balance today is eighty five. No, my current balance today, what I owe left, is about seventy, about seventy eight thousand seven hundred. Okay, let me just put seventy eight thousand seven hundred in the calculator for a second. What's your interest rate? Five percent. Even? Why is your rate so yeah. high? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. If you want to pay that off in 15 years, that's a from today, that's 180 payments. You would need to pay 622.35 on the principal and interest. Now, your current payment includes taxes and insurance as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you have to back that out to know the difference. Um, how long ago did you buy the house? We bought it in January of 2011. Okay. All right, so um, let me put in here three, hmm, 45. Okay, I'm going to knock 15 months off for the fun of it, and let me see if I can figure out about your payment is probably, your principal interest is probably 450 or $430, somewhere around in there. Do you know your principal interest payment? Yes, it's 565 a month. No, that's your total payment. Oh, my principal interest. Not counting taxes my, and insurance. Yeah, oh, my taxes and insurance. My insurance is about 500 a, a year. Okay. And my taxes is about, I want to say about, about about the same around. Okay. Plus or minus a little more. Right. That'd be $83 a month of your 565 is that. So that puts you at about 450 so I was about right. Okay. And so if okay. you want to pay it off in 15 years, you've got to pay instead of 450, you've got to pay 622. And so it's going to take about $175 extra a month, roughly, to pay the house off in 15 years. Okay. And then anything more than 175 would just pay it off sooner, right? Exactly. Obviously. Exactly. Yeah. And you need to make sure you send a separate check separate envelope or if you're paying online you just use the online entry point and, and make sure that it, that that extra money is principal only principal okay. only big bold letters principal only 
because you want to reduce the principal with that amount. You don't want to pay prepay interest or prepay escrow. Principal only. Thanks for the call. That puts this hour of the Dave Ramsey Show in the books. Thanks to James Childs, our producer. Blake Thompson's our executive producer. Kelly Daniels, our associate producer and phone screener. I'm Dave Ramsey, your host, and we'll be back. You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM. The station that leaves no listener behind.